Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. My Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're going to be doing the finale of our Final Fantasy X to New Yevon run. Hello, Koneko with the first hello. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay. It's apparently my affiliate anniversary. Y'all, I had forgotten. I had forgotten when I became affiliate, truly. I had no idea until I also logged into Twitch today, and apparently it's my two-year affiliate anniversary, so happy anniversary to me. I didn't remember at all, but it was in October. <laughs> How crazy is that? How crazy? And I think it's two years. Like, I think it's two years. Um, so yeah, that's because of all y'all. So I would not have that if it weren't for you guys. So thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much. Okay, the plan for today is to beat... Final Fantasy X-2 on our new Yevon run. We have done everything in this game. We have done everything in this game, okay? I have even figured out the um, the thing. <laughs> I figured out where the black belt accessory is on Meehan. Okay, let me show you guys. Let me show you. Hello, Lunar, hello. Oh my gosh, hello. Okay, there we go, it's loaded. So um, it, anyway, it's behind the ruins, but you can't see the chest. So I was like determined before stream today. I was like, I was gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. This is the one thing in this game I could not figure out. And I just started spamming the button everywhere where the counter's turned off. And anyway, it, it's right here. You tap to spam. And it's like, it's like in the, the little corner, like right, you can see kind of the corner of the chest right underneath the map over there. If you look like right underneath the little mini map, that's where it is. Anyway, we found the black belt accessory at church, but popping in. Thank you so much, Lunar. Yeah, see, it's right there. There's Yuna. It's right back there. Stupid. Fucking stupid. Okay, anyway, it's time to go beat the game now. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day at church, Lunar. I hope the kids behave um, and it's all nice and stuff. And Koneko! Koneko, you have to tell me all about your vacation. How was it? What'd you do? What was your favorite thing? Um, I would love to know. All right, you guys, there is not much left in this game. There's not much left. We're gonna run back to the airship so that we can finish this up. The only reason I came to Meehan is because it was bothering me. And I was like, I am not going to have the knowledge of every single chest in this game except for one. That's ridiculous, and I will not do it. So I had to find the one chest I could not find. Child is telling me it's not phone time. <laughs> Hi, child. It's not phone time, it's Karen time. <laughs> it's Karen time. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to him, yes. <laughs> Child, you know it, you're right. Church time is not phone time. Um, but um, but Lunar loves me so much, she's making an exception. <laughs> but that child is is objectively correct, I, I have to say. Okay, anyways, we're not supposed to, we're not talking to, uh, to Buddy, we're talking to Brother. Here we go. Made up your mind, where would I jump in? Okay, we're gonna jump into Bavel first. Are you really going in? Yes, yes we are. Now we are yeah, gonna actually take all the, the paths though. Invasion has come. Yes. Spear hunter team go in. Uh -huh. Your friendly mate. Huh? Come here. What are we called now? Does it really matter? <laughs> Good point. It matters. Searching, flapping, neighboring, go wings, attack! Whoa, such passion. This is close enough. Seriously? I'm so moved. At any rate, let's go. The go wings last mission. Let's do it. Hey, 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 none of this last mission business. You hear? Yes, yeah, stop it, Shinra. Ready? It probably will be. Be careful. I'll be fine. We're just going to talk, after all. Mm. Save the huggy huggies for your triumphant return. Yeah! Hug, yes. hug, hug! Hug, hug, hug! <laughs> um, hey, look what the boys thought of. That's right! Go, go, go! Go, go Wings! Our boys it's are so cute, y'all. Let's rock! Look at everybody, flapping for victory. <laughs> Alright, jump in the hole, girls. It's where we belong. Ha! 
Okay, so we have to traverse down this little kind of like maze-like area. Um, I kept everyone on mascot, but here's what I've got for the um, accessories. So Yuna is wearing the Iron Duke. Everyone saw his crystal bangles, but Yuna's wearing the Iron Duke. Riku's wearing Ragnarok. And Pain is wearing Invincible. So um, so that's what I've got. And I'm actually, now I'm rethinking. I don't know if Ragnarok is the best one for her. Um, maybe... Maybe actually Riku should have Iron Duke and Yuna should have Ragnarok because Yuna actually uses her MP. So actually, let me swap that. Because Riku doesn't really use her MP as a mascot. Okay, okay, vacation dog. Hell yeah. I honestly don't really know where to begin because everything we did was fun. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, and we're planning to go back in a few years to see more things we didn't get to see. <gasps> oh, that's the best kind of vacation when it's like everything was so good that you have to go again. I love that. I'm so happy for you. Okay, so we're going to traverse down here. Bavel, the Bavel pole is could. the most straightforward which is why we are choosing it. Um, but we are super overleveled, like we're level 99, we beat Trema, so like everything should be a push over here. We should just be able to like straight up attack and like it's all good, you know? It should be really easy. So, that's what we're doing. And new mic, I mean, this is only the second time we're streaming with this mic, so y'all let me know how the levels are. Um, it kind of looks like it looks like I'm quiet. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some adjustments. I'm gonna make some adjustments. Check, check. I'm gonna turn the gain down, but like, turn me up in uh, the obs. The obs is. Okay, I wanna see how that how that goes. Then the gain's not so high, but I'm still louder than the game. But the gain is not so high, but I'm still louder than the gain in OBS. Hopefully that's good. Hopefully I'm not too quiet. Y'all let me know if it gets too quiet. Well, Koneko, since everything was awesome, tell me one thing. Like, tell me one thing. Okay, Dark Shiva is here. So we couldn't go into Makalania Temple, you know, because it's like underwater, right? So here's where Dark Shiva is. She's down here. So we have to beat her up too, just like the others. I'm sorry, Shiva, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Yuna has finished learning everything for mascot, but Riku and Pain haven't quite. So you so hopefully they'll get the rest of their mascot abilities. Then they'll be finished leveling mascot too. <sighs> sorry, Shiva, sorry. Shiva, I love you. I don't mean it. I don't want to. It's giving some static? Oh, that's not good. If I turn the gain down, is the static still there? Like, do you hear it now? Like, how does that sound? This chest right here, no, there's one chest on every path. This chest is an elixir. No, wait, I think it's the game. Oh, the game is giving static. Oh. Oh, gosh. Hmm. What do I do about that? I'm thinking. You hear static. Okay. Let me finish this battle. Oh, wait, this is one where you have to use magic. And I'm, like, sitting here attacking. Like, why isn't he dying? Okay, hang on. Um. Let's Moogle beam him. That should kill him. Static's reacting when the game is going, not when you're talking. Okay, it's the game. Okay, hang on. Okay. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right. Recording's on pause now. Um, we think we fixed it, but it, alert sounds might be doubling for this stream. 
So, so yeah, if that happens, I apologize. But there should be no more static now. Boneko, let me know if the static comes back. Because basically, OBS has a feature where it'll pull in just the audio of, um, of 10.2, but it's technically still in beta right now. So it sounds like, for whatever reason today, that is messing up. Because no one complained about static yesterday, but most people were chatting during the podcast time, so it was pulling in Zoom audio, so maybe the issue doesn't happen with Zoom audio. Um, I didn't hear anyone complain during the WoW section of the stream, but that was not a very, not um, as chatty section, so a little bit different. Okay, here we go. Next boss battle. <gasps> the Magus sisters! We didn't get to fight them either. Because, of course, we couldn't get into that temple in the Calm Lands. So, here we go, we gotta fight them. It's so sad. It's so sad what we have to do. Oh, just one attack kills them. I didn't have to Moogle Beam. It's overkill. Oh no, overkill. It's okay. It's okay. Poor Cindy. I'm sorry, Cindy. I don't want to have to kill any of my Aeon friends. But I don't really get a choice. Oh, she has very high defense. Maybe the Moogle Beam was worth it. Sorry, friends. Sorry. Bad. <sighs> so once you beat them, you can't backtrack from there. Just have to keep going. Bring it, Punk. Right. We're just going to use mascots all the way down. According to Twitch, you have no stream category. Oh my gosh, hang on, I'll fix, I can fix that. Give me a second. I just have to refresh and that'll fix it. Okay, now it's got a category. I bet, anyway. Should be retro category. I didn't even know you could stream without a category. Twitch wouldn't even let you do that. I thought you had to pick one, but maybe you don't. Maybe it's just, like, always beneficial to pick one. Alright. Another boss platform. We fought Shiva, we fought the Maga Sisters, and now it's Anima. So sad. I think technically you have to pick one, but in practice, if it doesn't save, you can be without one. Well, that must have been what happened. <clears throat> I love Anima. I'm so sorry, Anima. You're the best mother-in-law ever. You helped me so much. Immortal Soul Garment Grid, so once you get down to the bottom and you beat up Anima, that's what you get. Bahamut Child! Yuna. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough to stop him. We wanted to at least warn someone, but instead, we were dragged into the darkness. Hmm. We're no better than fiends. It's alright. Forgive us. I think she already does. Please, tell me, what is he? Shuyin? Just a shadow. 
It may look like him, but the real Shuyin died long ago. Even after a thousand years, his hate and misery linger on. His feelings grew so strong they began to act on their own. Eventually, they became a shadow, a shade that wants only to vanish, but cannot. Just a shadow. I can handle a shadow. Are you sure? Yes, leave it to me. It's so sad. I'll banish shadow with light. Light? Lens mm. feelings. That's right. Call it love. And then we land here. Yeah, suddenly Kingdom Hearts, that's right. <laughs> uh, so I love this little area. I think it's so beautiful. Um, so let's go talk to LeBlanc next. Hey! <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Why are you here? Because the boss never goes against Lord Nuge's wishes. You found him? As we was heading in, we found the sphere addressed to the boss. He said, <clears throat> Don't follow him. Turn back now and wait for my return. Her new impression is Actually the best. doing what you're told? How novel. <laughs> what can I say? One look at Nuji Wuji's dashing visage on that sphere and I was, oh, charmed. How could I say no to such a cutesy wootsy face? If he... Don't worry. If he knows you're waiting, he has a reason to come home. <sighs> and wait, I shall. We'll tell him that you're waiting like a good girl. <laughs> you do that, love. And don't forget to stress, good girl. Blanc, you are ridiculous. So you can go through that little glowing thing and continue on from here, but if you do, you're going to miss some scenes as well as missing out on a garment grid. So we are actually going to go back up to the airship. And first thing to do is to speak with Shinra. Huh. What are you looking at? Far plane data. The more I study it, the more fascinating it gets. There's limitless energy swirling around in there. Limitless energy? The life force that flows through our planet, I think. With a little work, we could probably extract the energy in a usable form. Sweet! Of course, that'd take generations. That's no fun! Well, still, it is something worth shooting for. Think how much Spear would change if we ever got it to work. Maybe one day we could build a city full of light, one that never sleeps. No doubt about it. Just imagine! But I'll never get to see it, will I? Shinra! Don't make you not sad! Right, my bad. So that's the explicit tie-in to Final Fantasy X. Um, they are referring to Mako Energy and all of that stuff that, I mean, Final Fantasy VII. I said Final Fantasy X. That's the explicit tie-in to Final Fantasy X. They are referring to Mako Energy and all of that stuff. So, yeah, Shinra's name is referential, and, um, that's on purpose. So, yeah, that's that about that. Okay, so, next what we're gonna do is we're supposed to, um, talk to Buddy and Brother on the deck, but you can see they're right here. So if you just go up to the deck... Um, they're not gonna quite be there yet, but I think if we go to the deck and then go back to the bridge and back to the deck, then it should work. So we're gonna go up to the deck here. And they're not gonna be there. But then if, I think if we go back down to the bridge, then they are gonna be missing from their chairs and then we can find them on uh, the deck. Let's see. Yeah, okay, see they're missing from their chairs. And if we go back up on the deck, we will find them and get a scene. Cushion the egg, Mejak. Really? 
And then we get uh, Albred Primer number um, 13. All right, so that's a funny little scene. Um, they hope that when the girls leave, they'll get new, new pretty girls. Okay, so the next scene is to speak with Sid in the in the cabin. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, okay, Buddy came back, but um, brother is not. So then we should just be able to go to the cabin and do it. Yeah, it worked. What is it? Listen up, kids. I don't know what this fear hunter business is all about, but I won't tolerate unwed girls running around doing crazy stuff. Can't you be a little more, you know, ladylike? No. Get with it, Pops. Ugh, that is so primitive. Right? That's so primitive. But, so I'm an old fart, is that it? Can't keep up with the youngins, eh? You said it, perhaps. Why don't you sit back and leave the mother dines to us? You're the one I'm worried about most, you mohawked moron. So? No. Actually, he pops on the mark for once. Wow, Riku. I'm picking on your brother. <gasps> hey, what is that? I was born in Befell. I grew up in Besaid. And I suppose... This ship is my home now. Well, no, not just here. When I think of all the places we saw on our journey, now each and every one of them feels like home to me. <laughs> I don't give, uh, what is it? I don't give a toot anymore. Go on, do whatever you want. That's right, I will. <laughs> okay, so there's one more extra scene that we can get. Um, let's go back down to the bridge. So we need to have Riku not here anymore. So she's still there, so we're gonna go back. Try going up to the deck and then going back again. See if that does it. Okay, no, she's still there. Riku! Go away. Go do your thing. Oh. Okay, maybe that'll do it? Because she just approached me. Okay, let's try and go back up to the deck now. Because the scene I'm looking for is on the deck, but I need Riku to leave and go on the deck for the scene to happen. Okay, no, she's still there. Okay. Um, let's go down to the engine room. Back up and see what that does. Okay, she's still there. Um 
Now one thing with these scenes is you can't get all of them until you have 95%. So if you don't have 95%, then you're not going to trigger all the scenes. Like Riku's scene basically that we're trying to get right now doesn't trigger until you have 95%. So if you're not getting them, that could be what's happening. You just haven't collected enough percent during the game to get the scenes to trigger. Um, on the new Yevon run, you, it's like barely. You have to do everything to get all these scenes to trigger. Um, on the Youth League run, it's a bit easier. But since you can't get 100% on the new Yevon run, this is what happens. Um, but I do know I have enough. Come on, Riku, follow me. Go up on the bridge. I know you want to. I know I have enough percent to get the scene to trigger. Yeah, see, I have 95. I have 95 exactly at the moment, or I should, and this additional scene note should give me 0.2. Okay. Come on, Riku. Come on up to the bridge. Sometimes it does take navigating quite a bit back and forth to get her to do this, because I'm not sure exactly what makes her, like, disappear fully. But you'll come back here and she'll be disappeared and then she'll be on the, the bridge. Wait. Your mother was Sid's younger sister, right? So that means you're part of this family, too. Yes, Pain, that's true. quite yet. Okay, come on, Riku. Trigger your scene. She's still still here. the cabin and sleeping. Maybe that'll trigger it. <clears throat> what can we do for you? Sleep tight? She's still there! Oh my god, I know I can get the scene to trigger.
nothing in the engine room. Okay, this is getting annoying. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I know I can get the scene to trigger, but we're just walking back and forth way too much. It should not take this much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do another route, um, because we need to do all of these routes to get a certain garment grid. So we're gonna go do the Save Temple route, and then come back and try again. So the Besaid Temple route is also fairly straightforward. There's not really any like crazy tricks or anything, so you just walk along kind of like the Bevel route. Nothing too crazy here. To so speed up the monsters, you don't have to refight the bosses. So when you go down these different routes, you you are just basically walking to the end. So we're trying to get to the end of every single route to get this other karmic grid. and you just run straight in the direction. Now the other routes do get a little bit more like complicated, like with um, certain puzzles and things, but the order that I think is the easiest is Bevel, then Besaid, um, then Kilika, then Calmlands Gorge, then Jose Temple. Jose Temple is the only one that's a little bit annoying. And you can't get this if you didn't do the optional piece of killing um, Yojimbo, because then you're not gonna have the Calmlands Gorge hole. So you won't you won't even have that hole if you didn't do that section. So this garment grid, you can only get if you fulfill all of those things. Oh my gosh. I missed the chest. <laughs> Here we go, go on, get Christ. There we go. Okay, so the chest for this area is some Mega Potions. Ah, uh, two of these bitches. Okay. Um. Does Catling Gun do damage? Does it count as special or does it count as like a physical? We'll find out. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 you Sayonara. can't do Catlin Gun. Dang it. Okay. Oh. 
Got him. Whee! Alright, back to regular attacks. Oh, uh, two of these again. Okay. Um, oh, no, no cutlery. We'll do Kate Thunder, and we'll do a Moogle Beam. Is there anything that she can do? Oh, it don't matter. They dead anyways. The Kate, nice the Kate magic does enough. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Get down there. Okay, and we're back here. We go back on the airship to do the next one. Alright, I'm gonna try again doing some navigation away to get Riku to move. Not there on the deck. I could have 99 Phoenix Downs and 99 Life Potions. Thank you. Callie's still here. I think Brother's sort of cute. <gasps> With that mohawk, he looks like an adorable chocobo. Oh my god, Callie and Brother 5 ever. I ship it. Okay, let's see if she's gone now. Do another path. Stay strong, Uni. This will be all over soon. But well, she said something different that time. So maybe let's try one more time? Nope, she's not on the deck. Okay. Riku, why won't you let me watch your scene? Choose your route. It's a good scene. Okay, we're gonna do Kilika Temple Full next. Speed ahead. So Kilika, the path, this path actually does have a little bit of a mechanic. Not just walk down the path. So on this one, there's these fire thingies, and you don't want to step on the fire things; they hurt. You gotta wait till they go down. You don't want to walk on them when they're like like that. If you do, it sends you back. See, I just triggered it. So there we go, the flame geysers. Um, if you make repeated contact with the flames, you'll be sent back to one of the flames you've already touched. So it, it sends you back. Thank you so much for the lurk, Koneko. We love our lurkers here. Astrophobic, not me! Oh, 
Oh, I didn't quite kill him. Oh, that drain did barely did anything. the way I came, isn't it? Yeah. I think I got myself turned around. Let me turn off encounters for a second. I can reorient myself. Yeah, this way? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle got me all turned around. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, now the camera looks normal again. That was so weird. It was like the camera got jacked up from the battle. And here's the chest for this one. So for Kilika, you get a manatonic. the end. Oh, almost. One more battle. Try one more time. <laughs> Another time to get Riku to disappear and go on the freaking bridge. And, or the deck. <laughs> Away from the bridge into the deck. Alright, sit, sit still up here. It still says the same thing. I made it just in time for the finale. Fuck yeah. How are you doing today? Let's go down to the engine room. I'm trying to trigger this like final scene with Riku. It's it's like a cute scene and it's worth 0.2 percentage points and it's really annoying to trigger it. I don't really know why it's not triggering for me, but it's not. Be there. Be up on on the deck. He's still there. I screwed it up somehow. I really don't know how I screwed it up, but I did. Okay. 
choose your route. I'm good having Taco Bell for breakfast. Is it like regular Taco Bell or is it like literally Taco Bell breakfast? Because those like breakfast, like um, wrap things with the hash brown in it. Mm, oh my god, those things are so good. Those things are so good. All right, we're gonna go down to the Calm Lands um, Gorge. So this one does have a little bit of a um, mechanic as well, but it's not hard. Easy in the same way that the um, Killika one was pretty simple. Literally Taco Bell breakfast, oh my god, what'd you get? What'd you order? Okay, here's about the Calm Lands one. It's got these teleporters that you step on, and that's how you navigate around. And it actually does send you to different areas. Like this is through the Killika area. And it just, it, but these teleporters are added when you jump through the Calm Lands one. So that's what's different. And then there's one part where, like, going forward messes you up and you have to, like, go backwards. It's kind of weird. I'm sure, uh, hopefully I'll remember it when I get there. What that looks like. See, and then you hit this teleporter. And then you go this way. I haven't had Taco Bell breakfast in so long. That would be so good. We had some Dunkin' this morning, though. I got me a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant and a um, pumpkin ice latte. It was so good. It was so good. Okay, this is the one where I think you're supposed to go backwards, like up this way. And then this way, I think. I hope I did that right. Oh, here's the chest. I think that means I did do it right. Okay, you get a shining gem. So that's the chest for this one is a shining gem for Calm Lands Gorge. Let's do Kate Fire this time. Breakfast crunchy wrap, bacon with cheesy toasted breakfast wrap. That's like basically my order. I don't, not the um, breakfast wrap, but I get the um, breakfast crunch crunch wrap bacon. Um, that's my order. Like that's the best thing. It's so good. All right, we did do it right. So that's the calm lands one. So you have to backtrack at that one teleporter. Okay. No more messing around. We gotta trigger this Riku scene. We gotta trigger this Riku scene. Okay. Holy crap. Why, Riku? Why won't you come with me? And all I wrote in my notes is keep navigating around to different areas until Riku disappears from the bridge and then speak with her on the deck. So like, obviously I don't really know exactly how to trigger it. It's just the last scene and I know it won't trigger if you don't have 95% at that point, but I do have 95%. You guys just saw, it says that on the save. So I don't understand why it's not triggering. Google Gamer, let's go.
Okay. Let's try doing this. Haha! -ha! She's gone now. Okay, you have to look at Buddy's map. That's what you actually have to do. <laughs> All the walking around the elevator didn't work. You have to look at Buddy's map. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's go up. We did it. I got the scene. Here we go. What's wrong? It's just... Why do I always feel like I'm being left behind? Uni, you're changing. You want to change, and Payne's changed a whole bunch. <sighs> but, Riku, I have you to thank for that. If you hadn't invited me along, I might never have left Besaid. And the way I was before, I could never have lived like this. So, I think next time... Next time? Yeah, next time will be your story. Ooh, really? What kind of story? Hmm, well, let's see. Hand 3 with Riku as the protag. Yes. How's that for a beginning? Do I get a hunky boy in my story? Need one? Yep, yep! <laughs> I wonder what brother would say. Uh, he's not invited. <laughs> I'll come up with something, I guess. <laughs> you will, Riku. If anyone can do it, you can. I love that scene. It's so fun. Okay, sweet. So it's, um, it's talking to Buddy is what makes it. Makes her disappear. And then you trigger it. Okay. Alright, so at this point, let's just check. We should be at 95.2%. So we're gonna use our little handy-dandy checker. I hadn't opened it up yet this stream. I gotta load it. Okay. Do. Yep, we're at 95.2%. Okay. I thought she had a guy, wasn't it, Gipple? True, but they're not together anymore. Gipple and her were together. I think she still has some feelings for him. Personally. Based on their interactions in this game. But it's unclear if he still has some feelings for her. So who knows, but there's definitely a backstory there that we are not super privy to. All right, the last one is Jose Temple. This one actually does have a little bit of a puzzle, so I'll show you. You don't just walk and pass obstacles. I want that story too, Apatif. Oh my god. Ten three with Riku as the protag and Gipple as a party member? Yes. I would love that. It would be so silly. It would be like the silliest game ever with those two. It would be so fun. You can see the Kiliko one back there in the distance. So, like, in this area, like, you can see all of the different paths, but you can only walk down the one based on what hole you've chosen. So this area is really coolly designed. Effortless. Because visually it looks like it's the same area, but they are different instances in the game files. Alright. What? Is this not the way? 
<laughs> what happened? I took a wrong turn. Yeah, the Jose one actually does take a little bit to navigate. It's not just walk like the others. All right. If I messed up somewhere. Go back. Did it jump on this one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, here's a little puzzle. This resets the puzzle. Um, but basically, you come to this one right here. It explains it to you. You're going to push them. So you're going to push this first one into three. You're going to push this last one here. Come on. Into one. And then you're going to push this one right here in the middle into two. Okay, now when we traverse the way we just were, we're not going to get stuck. It's going to let us cross. If you don't do it with those numbers, like pushing them that way, then you are going to still get stuck and have to go back and try it again. That's it. That's a little puzzle that's in that's in the Jose one that makes it ever so slightly more challenging than the others. But there's only like the three okay. pillars, so there's only so many combinations, so it's really not that hard. It's just a little annoying since the others are so easy. Oh wait, I think the chest. Don't you have to backtrack for the chest on this one? Oh no, you can't. Okay. There is a chest here too, just like all the others, of course. But I don't remember exactly where it is. Come on, there we go. Fire doesn't quite kill them. Maybe I should stick to doing the thunder. Because it seems to do slightly more damage. It actually kills them in one hit. Okay, yeah, there's the chest. So you do have to kind of like go on this extra little platform for it. Um, can I jump from here? Yeah, I don't remember. I know what's in there, it's, some tur it's two turbo ethers, but I don't remember exactly how to get to it. And I don't. Yeah, we missed it. But that's okay. It's just two turbo ethers. It's not a big deal. And there's like a spot where you have to backtrack to get it. Oh, oh no, here it is. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, just kidding. That's a trick. We didn't miss it. I just didn't remember. <laughs> I thought you had to backtrack. I think I'm so stuck on having to backtrack in the Calm Lands when I thought that was happening here too, but it's not. That's only on the Calm Lands when we get to backtrack a little. There we go, two turbo ethers. Okay, we can return now. Don't get careless. Fool me.
Man, having a Riku and Gippo one would be so cool. And we could probably have new characters too. Come get some. Pink gets all the good lines. Too easy. And what if we had like brother and buddy is actually like more playable? I mean, you can kind of technically play like brother. Anyway, we'll do that in a later playthrough. But yeah. So once you have gone down all of the paths, you get this treasure chest and you get the Megiddo Garment Grid. So that's your reward for going tediously down every single path. <laughs> and we're back here. So just to show you guys, um, the one we got for defeating Anima was the Immortal Soul Garment Grid, which I think is down here. I don't see it. But anyway, here's the Megiddo one. It's the use black magic abilities. Um, and then... Where's the Immortal Soul one? There it is. So Immortal Soul is used life and cure. Okay, so life and cure. <clears throat> and it's a full life one. Okay, so let's save. And we can continue now. So this is the point of no return. Once we jump into that light, you can't go back. So you need to make sure that you've got your characters, like leveled up or whatever, like if you didn't do everything the way that I did in this game, you might want to go level up and do or do some things like that, skill grind, that sort of thing before you jump into here, but we are good. So we're just gonna jump right the fuck in. Continue onward, yes. And here we are in the final area. And there's Vegna gun at its wing cocoon. Fuck yeah. Very hype. Alright. We've got some music, because music is very important to Spira. So yes, we are gonna play the keyboard. Um, it says play three notes. So I know from playing this before, I think it's so... And then this me up here. And then this ray. Yep, and that um, unlocks. So. Yeah, that's where it tells you that. So there's clues all throughout. Now you don't have to use the clues or play the music or any of that stuff. You can totally just, like, walk through the gates and fight monsters and do it like that. It's no problem. Yeah. Um. I think we go up this way. This final little section I don't, um, know as well. I haven't, like, played through it multiple times to practice or anything like that, so... Um, I might not have the best notes. But I do know the basics of how it works, even if I don't really have it memorized that well. Come back up. Maybe let's move this way. Go T. Okay, yes, that's the next one. We've got an oversold dark elemental. Oh, he died fast. <laughs> I was having flashbacks to the elementals that were in the um, Via Infinito, and I was thinking it was that, but it's not. Okay, this chest is a Mega Elixir. And on this one, what are we doing? Play the keyboard, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, it tells me because I already figured it out. We've got dough. Oh, wait, wrong dough. No, wrong dough. Go back. It's this dough. T. 
Oh, I didn't step on the other one. Um, the other one should be lost, so. And that deactivates that grid right there, so we don't have to fight the monster. Um, now you find that on this one that I screwed up and didn't step on. Back here, I'm gonna show you that. You know what I'm talking about? This one. Yeah, see, that one would tell you. I guess I'll take a break. What? Hey, oh, we you. you! We've beaten so many of you in the Via Infinito. give us the last three notes, and then that's like the whole sequence that'll get us through the puzzle. Leave it to me! These are fine enough for these dragons, they're gonna oversoul. Easy as pie! Easy as pie. Shoot. Just walk face first into it, Yuna. Don't even pay attention or nothing. I'm on a roll! Oh, you. Man, after doing- after beating Trema, nothing is scary. They're all whatever. It's a wrap! <sighs> My god, I'm freaking blind. <laughs> At least it just knocks you back, it doesn't really hurt you. Now we gotta find the next organ. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Go again. Oh, or battle. There we go. Okay, up here. Yes, we're gonna play the keyboard. Okay. Off. Me. Go. Oh, wait. I think I'm missing a note because I think it's Fa Mi Fa So Do. I'm missing something in the middle. Yeah. That? That's not the right dough. It was the lower dough! Yes, play Fa. Me. Fa. Go. And then this dough. There we go. Now we can get through. Oh, one of you. 
gosh, I do such little damage. Okay. Don't you strength up on me. That is so rude. There we go. <gasps> it's Gipple! Gipple! I got careless. Are you alright? I could use a nap. Where's Nooch? He went ahead. Guess she couldn't stay away. I never said where I would wait. True. Well then please, take care of Gipple. You dare give me an order? Look, we'll tell Nuge you're waiting like a good girl and doing your part for the team. <laughs> she... All right, I'm in. She thought about it. She thought about it. Hey, Dr. P. A gift from Nuge. Kane's sphere. It's from two years ago. Said it was inside the sphere camera. I'll watch it later. Hey. You should watch it now. Think about it. You know you won't be able to fight your best as long as it's on your mind. That's true. You should You're watch right. it now. Let's watch it. What do you got in mind for fun? Any ideas, Dr. P? Me? A ship that glides through the air. That thing you mentioned before. If it's for real, I want to fly it. You get to be pilot then. And maybe I'll try my hand at navigation. Then I'll be engineer. Nooch? Captain. Ah, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. You'd let an amateur be captain? Chill out, Noochster. All you gotta do is shut up and look important. You'll fit the part. Like a club. <laughs> I'll work you like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I like the selfie shot. It's so nice. What happened to that pain, I wonder? Hmm. She's inside you, sleeping. Well, wakey, wakey, time to set sail. Your captain and your navigator are waiting. All right, play the melody by the steps on the floating pedestals in the right order. That's the same ones we just did to get through the gates. And it's just playing it for you to make sure you have the whole sequence in case you ended up fighting the monsters. So, we don't need to keep watching that. We have it. So let's save. That's far. That's so. So we get some mega phoenixes there. So this is me. That's for me. Never 
remember how you're supposed to do this puzzle. Can you jump from here? No, you have to jump on this one. Alright, so that's the next one. Okay, that should be the next one. Now we're looking for Lasso. Lady. I'm looking for Lasso. The, the notes. Is there another one over here? There's another one over here. That's why I wasn't finding Lasso. Oh, that's so dope. That's the last one. That's not helpful. I think that's the way you go if you want to just fight the monster. There's law. For the level we're at, it might just be easier to fight the monster. <laughs> You don't get any prizes for beating this. I think it's just how to skip fighting the little monster. Just like with the other organ puzzles. Oh, there's Fa. Yeah, that's definitely the wrong order. <laughs> that's definitely the wrong order, but that's okay. We beat up this man. He is Ozzy Daka. We beat him up. No big deal.
Paul White in that chain. Definitely want to be chaining on the Catlin gun from his, um, I think it's, no, it's not Pain that has that. I thought Pain had, I think Pain maybe has the, well now I don't remember what accessory I put on her. I thought I put the accessory on her for like, breaking the damage limit. And I put Iron Duke on Reef. Goodbye, Ozzy. Bye. You tried to guard, you tried. But everyone can't be a good guard. Especially when I'm gonna come and fuck you up. But if you do that puzzle right, I think you don't have to fight him, is how that works. But whatever. You can beat him up. I got a hunch that once we go on ahead, there's no turning back. A hunch? Yeah. That's it? A hunch it is, then. Here it is, Vegna Gun. Final boss time. All these spirals. Hey, Nuj. Nuj, I'm here to help. Both Barrel Eye and Vegna Gun belong to him now. Hmm. Well, there a lie. I have a plan. Can't call it a smart one, though. What's that? He acts through another's body. Stop the body, and you stop him. I'll shoot Barrel Eye. Oh no. His body will be useless, but if we're lucky, he won't die. Shuyun will abandon Barrel Eye, and then he'll come back for me. <sighs> what then? I will die. My body has already been rigged. I'm taking Shuyun with me. This is a terrible plan, Nuj. Nuj. You're our captain. Exactly. I don't like your plan. <laughs> That's what I that said. Sucks. Yeah. Your plan is awful. Think about it. It's no different than what we did two years ago. We destroyed our own allies. We destroyed the Aeons who had fought together with us at our side. We didn't have a choice then. We believed that was the only way we could save Spira. Do you know what it felt like to watch them die? Right before my eyes. It was so sad. It was the only thing we could do. It was the only choice we had. I gave in, I accepted, I believed. I allowed it to be true. I thought I'd be able to go through with it without ever doubting myself. But I... It hurt so much. <gasps> Forgive us. Everyone was so happy. Great job, Yuna. You did it. You saved us all. There were too many smiles to count. And I know that I was smiling too. 
But now, when I look back, the people who should be here aren't. The ones who should be smiling with me aren't here. We had no choice. We had no choice. Always we had no choice. Those are our magic words. We repeat them to ourselves again and again, but you know, the magic never worked. The only thing we're left with is regret. Yuna, I'm sorry. No. I don't want this anymore. I don't want friends to die, or fade away. I don't want battles where we have to lose in order to win. Nuge, I know that what you say is what you mean to do. Give me your resolve. Believe in Yuna. Hmm. So you have a plan. Light? That's plan B. But before that... Hey, Riku. No matter how monstrous it looks, Vegnagun is still just a machina. So we can take it apart, right? Uh, yeah. Er, uh, maybe? You never used to be the think-before-you-act type. What gives? <laughs> LeBlanc. And I never was the weight like a good girl type, isn't that right, Nuji? Vegnagon can be destroyed. Absapaza, you better believe it. Wanna know why? Cause people built it. Right! Everyone! It looks like we can stop that thing after all. And that scene like totally redeems all the things that are kind of annoying about Yuna's character in this game. <laughs> now it's pissed. Witless little widget, isn't it? What about Shuyan? Plan B. Oh. Love. Rupo. The ultimate illusion. It'll work. I've come this far to bring Len's feelings to Shuyin. I'm not stopping now. The power of love conquers all. So romantic. Count me in. If all Shuyin is is feelings of misery, then of course what it would take is feelings of love. So, <gasps> Yuna's right. Look. Here it is, with his little insect body, butterfly wings. Vegna gun. Ha! It's just bluffing. This relic's getting rusty. Yuna, 
You have your friends. If we all attack at once, we can do this. We need to split up. Leave the legs to us. We've got the torso. Guess that leaves the tail. Okay, let's go. See you later. I love how all like the Aeons come back and talk to her during that scene too. That's one of my favorite parts. Because it so reminds me of In 10 where all the Aeons are there and we end up having to destroy all of them. But like they're not really gone because so long as something is um, a strong memory and spirit it stays. So they are still able to tell her even though she d destroyed them in 10, even though she destroyed the dark versions of them in this game, they'll still help her. All right, first we have to get the tail. That's right. Don't be afraid, Yuna. Your friends are your strength. Don't worry. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna move a beam that shit. For potions. Oh my gosh, my stuff is not organized. Okay. We have some high potions. I guess we can just do that. If you can't Put that shit on super tail, hard. Welcome in, Celestial Knight. Welcome. You're here for the you're here for the final episode of this. Um of our new Yevon run. Um, how are you? Are you having a good weekend? I'm Karen Terry, by the way. Um, we love Final Fantasy here, so if you love Final Fantasy 2, you should drop a follow. We're not done yet. This is our first run, okay, new Yevon run that we're doing on this game. We're gonna run it again for the uh, Youth League, and we're gonna run it again to do the monsters. We're, we're going for a 200% run What's next? this game. Yoni, they're in trouble! Boss, let's get the heck out of here! No, no, we'll come help. You want to get the heal? Coming to help. You can heal us when we get home. <laughs> Come on. Oh, logos. Oh, poor, poor guy, poor guy. Okay, we're coming to help. We're coming to help. Wait. Come on. Why can't you hop down? This way. There we go. We're coming to help you, Snape and Snape's boyfriend and Snape's boss. Go on. Get up there. There we go. Hop, hop. You don't have to get the heal today. What are you doing here? I'll let you have this one. I'm going to go cheer Nuji on. Got it! So we have to do the legs by ourselves. Okay, whatever. I realize I want to avoid that intro song. <laughs> against this thing. Well, we've got a lag on Bonner. Save well, you can skip it. You can skip it in the second one, of course. Um, okay. I think since I'm so overleveled, I can just avoid even messing with the colors. Yep. Sure yep. looks that way. We got it. Shake a leg. Yep, very easy. You don't have to mess with the colors. 
Yeah, we did everything on this file. Everything we could possibly do for a new Yevon run. So we're going to have as high a percent as possible. I know it's not 100, but we're going to have like 99.2% at the end. We did everything. Oh, hey boys. What's up? Please. Help the boss. Mm. The go wings are on it. Yeah. We got you, don't worry. I love his super gun. Doesn't look like one person should be holding that, but you go get both. This thing just keeps on ticking. Don't worry. We'll finish it. Yeah. Do it. I'm level 99 with mascot dress. So big. So I got this. No more climbing. Could you please <laughs> focus? This time the legs are just a distraction. You know where to strike. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Aeon. on Yuna. Oh, but we're done anyway. Did it. <laughs> we're shooting. Yeah, right, Riku. Finished indeed. Barrelite! All of Spira is finished. Okay, nice. It healed me before this. Come, I love that. Technicon, let us purge this repulsive world. <laughs> Excuse you. That was rude.
<laughs> he healed them right back. Okay, so there's no point in attacking the left and right anything. Just attack Vegna Gun. The heck. Now begins. I don't need no MP anyways. Is this the final juice? The end. Yeah, let's talk Get it. No, you're right, Celestial Knight. The mascots are the strongest. And I've got Iron Duke on Yuna, like, I've got Ragnarok. I've got, like, the top accessories, too, on them. And Crystal Bangle, so they have super high HP. It's Lynn. There's something I must tell you. Words left unspoken for a thousand years. I love you. And I'm grateful, grateful that you stayed with me until the end. Aww. But I couldn't save you. It doesn't matter. Please, don't go on grieving alone. Rest. I'm so sad, y'all. The game lady is we okay. can finally fade really together. No. Wait. No, oh, it didn't work. You are not let. She's been trying to tell you that for so long, and you ignored her, and now you listen. That's not fair. Don't get it, do you? It's no good. He's not listening. Shu Yin, please stop this! <laughs> Vanish with the rest of Spira! Oh, he has Titus's overdrive. How like we can think of Shu Yin as the real person, and Titus was the dream of him. Shu Yin. And the reason why Titus was able to cross over is because Shu Yin was still clinging to Spira. Shu Yin. Don't try to tell me you understand. But she does understand she is.
lie there. thousand years, and this moment is all we get? This moment's enough. Lady, it's okay. Oh. I don't need anything else. Just knowing how you feel is enough. Shu Yin, let's end this. Let's go home. Can we? That was all a thousand years ago. We've come too far to look back now. Rest, Shu Yin. Rest with me. Of walk in this painful place, trying to watch the sad last scene. It's okay. Not really sad. Let's go. I have a new song for you. Don't make me laugh during the sad scene. <laughs> we forgot to feed the kitty cat show you and we gotta go. Hi. <laughs> I'll explain what I mean by the connection, Celestial, when the um when we get a good break in the cutscene. Chapter 5 complete. We beat the game, you guys. This is the end. I pressed A to make that happen, by the way. Otherwise, you don't see this bit right here with the Thanks. Bahamut. You're very welcome. You heard it, didn't you? Mm hmm You want to see him? Him? Yes. You want to walk together again? Yes. We want to walk together again. can't promise anything, but we'll do what we can. We're not going to get the perfect ending because we did a new Yevon run, so we can't get 100% on that. But we'll get a, the good ending, just not the perfect ending. This is the best possible ending you can get if you choose new Yevon.
All right. Once my friends and I dreamed of flying. We would sail a ship with me as its captain. In time, I became that captain. I found a new ship with new friends. My ship was the Youth League. Others chose a different captain. Their boat was New Yevon. <clears throat> you know, I realize I'm like a lot of you people. We want a captain, and we want a ship to ride, but more important than that, really, we all want to ride together. There are some things you can't do alone, but they become easy with friends beside you. This was the lesson that we learned when we launched those ships. It was power. And we misused that power. We turned our friends and followers against each other. That does often happen. Forgive us. Somehow we forgot. There's a much larger ship out there. One we've been riding ever since we were born. That ship is Spira. Mm -hmm. No one knows just where our voyage will lead us. But we do know one thing. <sighs> one way or another, we will get by. We'll go on living. Yeah, everyone gets to ride, even the continue. shitty people. That's true. So they're people too. Just one more thing. We all owe thanks to a very special lady. Yeah. You all know who I'm talking about. We really hope that she could be here today. It's time for me to go home. <laughs> She left a message. She said she's going home. So farewell, but not goodbye. See you next time. Yeah. 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 No, you're not trolling. You're funny. It's all good. Yeah, it's more dramatic. Party enough, don't you? <laughs> Brother, higher! Roger! How the wind doesn't whip them right off, I still don't understand. Brother, faster! Roger! <laughs> I can't hear you! has happened and I'm sure it's only the beginning through the smiles and tears through the anger and the laughter that follows I know that I'll keep changing this is my story it'll be a good one Aww. it all began when I saw this sphere of you so that's not the perfect ending, but I think it's the most canon ending, personally. It took me a long time to know that Nuja's VA was the voice of Sephiroth from a movie from Advent Children. That's true. Most everyone in 10 and 10-2 is a famous voice actor, um, pretty much except for Payne. She hasn't really done much else outside of 10-2. Just a little bit of things here and there. Okay. So while these credits are playing, I will explain what I was talking about um, in regards to the connection between Shuyin and Titus. I'm going to just turn this music down a little bit. In OBS. There we go. So, okay. So, Shuyin existed a thousand years ago. 
right? And he only still clung on to Spira because he had so much anger and hatred in his heart. And we know that pyreflies react to strong emotions and memories. So he's still like living, but not really. He's a shadow, as Muhammad said. Now, when the faith decided to do kind of the, the big summoning, where they, they are dreaming of Xanarkand, and that dream Xanarkand is where Titus comes from, right? So in a dream, you cannot invent new faces. You can only use faces that you have seen before. So everyone in Xanarkand had to have been living in Spira at some point in time, or at least some of the faith to know them. And Titus, I believe, was dream version Shuyin. And essentially what that means is that because Shuyin was still like existing, like he was still living, not really, but he was still connected to Spira, he hadn't fully left it. Titus was able to be pulled from um, dream Xanarkand into real Spira. Right? Now he was still a dream, he still faded away whenever the faith stopped dreaming. But that was why he was able to be pulled through the way Oron was. Even though he wasn't dead like Oron was. Like, Oron could go back and forth because he he was dead, right? Titus was able to be pulled into Spira because of Shuyin. Because he wasn't dead. So he shouldn't have been able to travel back and forth, right? So yeah, that's what I think was going on. And where the connection is and why that is the case. Hopefully... <laughs> I'm talking enough over the song that um, this song isn't gonna, YouTube's not gonna be like, oh, copyright. <laughs> so yeah, that's the theory, and that's what I think is going on here, and how, like, the pyreflies kind of react, right? Be and, like, Lin is in living in the songstress dress sphere, right? And Yuna is able to channel her in a way that Riku and, um, and Pain cannot because they are both summoners. They are both summoners. So they both can control pyreflies in um, in like magical ways, essentially. That's really what summoners are doing. They're controlling pyreflies. It really isn't about the aeons exactly. It's about how they control pyreflies. So summoners can really do a lot more than Yuna can, can do in 10. So Titus was a dream dream. His Xanarkin never existed. Um, and he lived alongside Titus. Yeah, Shuyin in the same timeline. Yeah, Titus, Titus never existed. He was always a dream. Like he was never real. And I, I think that I think that Titus, dream the dream Titus that we meet in ten, is like the Aeons that are doing the dreaming, the faith that are doing the dreaming, that that is their memory of Shuyin. Yeah, Titus was literally the boy in her dreams. Yeah, literally. I'm gonna shake the shit out of some fireflies, yeah. Goneko, I love it. <laughs> what a good comeback. So yeah, um, come on 10-3. I don't know if I want a 10-3. I didn't want a 10-2, but the thing is the thing. I'll play the shit out of it. If they release a 10-3, I'll play it. I love Spira so much. I really, really do. So yeah, I would do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, okay, so here's what the deal is. Um, so for this particular game, we're going to take a break for a little bit. We're going to do another round of our Pleasant View Rotational for Sims 2. We're going to play through summer with all the families just to kind of like take a breather, just to, you know, have a, have a deep breath away from 10-2 for a moment. Because after that, after we're done with that, we're going to come and play again. So we're going to play 10-2 all over again. We're going to do a new game plus. Okay, we're going to do a youth league run so we can see all of the things that we missed. So we're going to make different choices in this second run. All right, so that uh, we can see that part of the game. So I'm really excited to do that with you guys. And we will do that after we have um, beaten. We'll do that after we have uh, we have gone through the summer round in Pleasant View. Just so we have a nice little break. So when we come back to it, it feels fresh. It doesn't feel like, oh, we were just here. Like, what? Um, so it'll feel nice. I love the idea of 10-3, or rather, I hope that they fo follow. Well, here's the deal, right? Like, 13 got three games, and 13 isn't nearly as good as 10, so why doesn't 10 have three games? You know what I mean? Like, it would sell. Like, it would sell. It wouldn't matter if it was bad. Like, everyone would buy it. Final Fantasy 10 is beloved. So they should make it, truly. 
Um, you know, we can say, like, fuck the little novelizations. Nobody cares. Nobody likes those. Okay. We can just consider 10, right? And 10 2 canon. I don't think we need to consider the novelizations canon to make 10 3. Okay. That's what I think. We don't need Titus Blitzball Head <laughs> explosions. Okay. We don't need this. The novelization is silly and weird. So we can pretend it doesn't exist when we make 10 3. I think that's, that's the case. And that's what we can do. <clears throat> so yeah we're gonna basically be at 99.2 percent from what we did all right the end end of credits yay now if you have the perfect ending there's an additional scene after the credits I know we don't have the perfect ending because we couldn't get 100% with New Yevon, so we're not going to see that. I think what we see, this is what we see instead. It will loop back around. So yeah, we do see Titus a little bit. There he is. Hey, dude. What's up? And he's surrounded by fireflies when you see him. So to me, Yuna's strong feelings resurrected him. That's what I believe is happening here. Hey, boy. And there he is, back on Besaid. Oh my god, Alpha Tiff, I love that emoji. And look, there's the ship! Reunited again. I think so. You're back. I am back. I'm home. Welcome home. Yes, home. <laughs> <laughs> Waka! What's up? <gasps> and then baby! Who asked you to watch, Waka? when I saw this fear of you. <laughs> the baby's wrap does look a little eggplanty. So there we go. There's the final scene.
The end. And you want to let it play all the way through because that's how you get to save for your new game plus. Story completed 99%. Creature completed 1%. Times played 1. All level 99s. All right. So there we go. You can't quite get 100% on New Yevon Run because we did everything. But we can start a new game plus. Yes, I would love to save my new game plus data. All right. All right, you guys. There are some alternate endings that we can do. And we have time in the stream to do them. So I would love to show those to you. But I need to take a stretch break. So here's what we're going to do. Well, I'm going to take a stretch break. I'm going to be back in just a little bit. And I want to show you guys like the bad ending and some things like that. So I want to show show as much of that as I can. So here we go. I'm going to put, I'm going to, we're going to end the, the recording. We're going to end the recording for YouTube. So um, for, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.